Hey folks, it's Fritgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 here in the Rizu Forest. Alright, let me go the other way. Just gonna go that way and I'm gonna bring that over as tight as I can to that wall. Oh, without it colliding there, right. It's a long way out from the wall actually. And I'm gonna bring you there. So that one's gonna go out to that edge there. And it's going to run along there. And we're going to need this to run down the side. Safety first. So we need a barrier. We don't want people falling off. We don't want we don't want anyone to take a spill down over the side. So that's going to come down to there. All right. Yeah, that'll work. Right, okay. And then we also want to do... A little bit that goes up there. Comes out that way. Comes over here. And goes there. Right. Because this is the municipal garden. Well not municipal. This is this is the um communal garden. It's the right word, communal garden. And the communal garden is gonna be separate to the rest of the area. So the general public can come in here, they can park up, and then they can take themselves up there and they can knock on the doors. But if they want to get into the garden, then they have to have special permission, which means that we also need to put in a fence here. Oh, that doesn't join in. You can't do a three-way fence. Right, no three ways there, so we have to bring that one out this way and try and join it in. Oh, Right, so a three-way does work, but you've got to start from the other angle. That would look better, but then that's straighter. Let's put that... There. Right. That lines up better with this, this bit over here, and then this bit in here is going to be a bit different. So can I do this? I can, and it joins in there at the right angle and everything. That's excellent. Okay, I like this. It's got all of the um, it, it's got all of the energy, enthusiasm, and charm of every building that you've ever imagined that was built by a government contractor and designed by a government employee. Um, sitting in an office somewhere. It's it's a ca it's it's a local council effort. This is <clears throat> this isn't private. This isn't privately owned. This is a local council effort. It's neutral. It's quick, and they've also they they've they've made an effort for decoration. They've hung some hanging baskets. So yeah, I think so far this is this is about the approach I want for this one. So we've also got to we've got to do the plants and we've got to make the rest of that one later, but we'll we'll deal with that in a bit. So we've got five hundred and five thousand euros now. I'm going to go and get the rest of the silage, which is half a load left, and we'll dump that into the shop as well. And then we'll be able to sell this case tractor and buy the new one. I've still got the Ford, the the new Holland over there, which I kind of want to sell as well. Um, actually, come to think of it. What is the horsey power of the one that we've got? So we've got the medium tractor here, which is the case, and that's 326 horsepower. Uh, the large tractor right here is 435 horsepower. So, I mean, that was not too bad. Although I think, actually, we want to go to that medium tractor. So that one was in here, medium tractors, and... It was the Stevie Special case. Is that one? Or did he do a different one with the flotation tires? I don't know if it was a different version of it. Let's have a look through. Nope. All right, so I think it must have been that version way back over here is that one right zero own you know if i clicked on it and 
zero owned there one owned so it might be that one that says that i already own um the engine setup went yeah, 326 was the maximum, so that's what we've got on there. It is accurate information that we've been given. So we'll come out of that. We'll rush over here. We're going to be... So we're going to be changing this up to a uh, Mega Machine soon. The only problem is that although we're changing this up to a Mega Machine, we're also going to want some big machines for doing the arable stuff. Although, to start with... That's not going to be a problem for us, is it? Because we don't need a big combine until possibly later this year. It depends if we're able to get the trees. I don't know if I'm going to get the field done before the harvest, though. I don't know, I don't know if that's going to happen. Anyway, I have 559,577. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to buy this tractor and then we'll sell the other one afterwards. If that's all right with you, we will go. Oh, it's, it's right at the end. Easy. There we go. Right, we'll go to that one. And uh, wheels are going to stay as they are. Designs are going to stay as they are. Additional weight is going to stay uh, standard for now. Um, attach a type. I'm going to go with a three point on the front. Actually, let's dump the load of extra weight on there. I don't know if that's going to make any difference to the way things work later on, but we'll soon find out. That one is going to be a little bit of a boost. That's now a 650 horsepower tractor. I'm not going to change anything else, although we could go. I've got Frithgar 1 on several of these. Type 1, Type 2, we could go with a Frithgar. I've just got two options on this. Yeah, let's do Frithgar. Why not? Frithgar 2. Just for something different. Okay. Uh, Buy. 444,300 euros. That is insane. 444,000 and 300 euros i'm just going to unhitch that one uh i've got my minion front weight right there which is very very important that we keep hold of that one because we'll probably want that so let's unhitch that one there the zerian will be able to use that back you over here fairly well old chap you've served us well but it's time to move on to pastures new so we can go into here and i'll repaint that one 93,000, now it's 104, and there. So 105,000 we get back for that one. So that leaves us with 209,000. I'm not going to buy any more land at the moment. I don't think that we need to worry about that. I'm going to instead keep that money for stuff that we might want for... Um... Right, what's this one like? Ooh. I think the weight on the back might be a bit excessive. We'll, we'll keep the money for stuff that we're going to want for um, beginning our arable enterprise. That's what we're going to do. That way. And head off over here. I like this setup. I do. Thinking this looks good. i bring you over here. I'm going to admire it like that. I'm not even going to pretend that I'm not doing this so I can get a screenshot for one of the videos. And I'm going to bring... Oop. I'm turning so well on this now. Driving it. I love the sound of this thing. It does sound very good. sounded very good as I drove through there, so we're definitely going to have to um, listen to that again. I think the weights on the back, I don't know if we need them. It might be a bit much, especially considering that we've got um, the thingy-majiggy. Hey, no. Uh, especially considering that, that we've got um, the weight of the thing on the back and we've got narrow tyres. Okay, so that's all the hay. Oh, yeah. Reverberations. That is wicked cool. Can you hear that? I, I don't know how well you can hear that. All oh, right, that that is that is wicked cool. I am very impressed with that. 
Let's bring you on round this way. I'll bring you in here. I've done everything that I need to do today. Oh no! Uh <laughs> We have encountered a slight problem. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a slight technical hitch. We're going to need to head on round the front. Well, we can do it from this way. Slight technicality. Technical hitch. Just a little bit of a deepsy problem in here. It's going to be fine because I can overload the hay. Doing it this way. So it's... It is a slight problem, but it's not the end of the world. We just have to go. We just have to do it backwards this time. So we we can at least do it right. So you can stop there. That bit is done. I've also done some work up there. We've sold all of the silage. We don't have anything to sell now for a while. It'll be in June, so we're going to be doing grass before then. Um, let's not do any more now for January. Let's skip on through to February, and then we'll go and cut down a few more trees. Um, we'll come back to doing some decorative work. Excuse me. Later, because we've still got the garden and we need to give that all the imagination of a government department. Okay. I pressed... Ah, why, why have I... Why did it come up with that? What? What did I press to bring that up? Okay, I don't even know what happened there. Because I thought I sold that air compressor. Oh no, is the air compressor over there still? Huh. That's weird. Alright, I don't really know why or what happened there. That was more than just a teensy bit peculiar. We will try not to let it affect our sleep too much. It's very weird when things like that happen. I'm sure it'll be fine. Uh, another 16,000 euros have come in. I now own 215,000 euros in my bank account. And I'm going to... First of all, I'm going to jump out and I'm going to have a look. So what are we down to now? We're on 100,000 story. We've got 5,000 food. I'm beginning to think that we're not going to last a whole month. Once the cattle are really going for it, I'm beginning to think that we're not even going to have a month's worth of food being able to go in here. And that's a little bit concerning, to be honest. 33,007. Yeah, it's not giving us any more. Hmm. I wonder if I'm going to have to change things around a little bit. I just might. Well, anyway, that one can stop there, and we're going to go... Ooh, wait, what are you... What's happening up here? Uh, they... Okay, the the pads aren't full yet, so we don't need to worry about that. Um, actually, the only thing that we want to do here is... I've got the edge of the field here. Let's get going. Let's, let's chop down a few trees. We've got a lot of work to do here. There's a lot of trees that we want to remove. And it's a little bit of a slow process, removing trees. Um, you know, if I didn't want to cut down lots and lots of trees, I probably shouldn't have gone to a forestry map. But I wanted to try it with the forestry map. And we do do some cutting with the tree harvester as well. It's just that we don't need to at the moment. And I'd like to make an arable field so that we've got more variety in our gameplay as we go through. Which is something that some of you have said, we want more variety. We don't want to be doing too much of the same thing for too long a period. Because it gets dull. And quite frankly, for this guy, you need to work on that. And I do, because I forget what I'm doing. And I get carried away with one thing. And then I'm talking. And because I'm talking, and I love the sound of my own voice. Um, for me, you know, everything's wonderful. But you may get tired of just listening to me talk whilst doing the same thing. And want a bit of variety in your life. Such as, you know, at least Frithgar doing something different while he's wittering on about nothing. And I understand that. I do. I feel for you. Um, 
you know, I've, I've seen those glazed looks that come across people's faces when I talk. And I can only imagine what they must be like if you've been watching several of my videos. So, I do, I, I, you, you have my deepest sympathies. You, you do. But, you know, keep in mind that you're the ones that clicked on the video. So, it's entirely your fault. I blame you and nobody else. Um, although I could, you know, also do what you've been asking me to do and try to get a bit of variety in the gameplay, which would then solve all of our problems, wouldn't it? So let's do that. Uh, go there, and then... Right, I'm thinking that we'll keep this, because uh, we did have a bit of this over on the other side, and I originally said I was going to keep it, and then I flattened it all out. Um, this time I'm thinking that we'll keep this, because I kind of like it. It's just what's left over from building the footpath down through. And it's a nice effect. I, I, I like that it's there. So I think that one is going to be kept. And we'll chop out a few more of these. So as I'm going to want to just cut everything in this patch, we could just, like, take a line right through the middle here. See what we can come up with. One down through does get a bit tedious doing this, doesn't it? I was just having a little bit of a drink. And... Right, I can see a deciduous tree over there, so let's head over that way and take out the evil tree. It's not necessarily an evil tree. It's just that... My computer and settings, for some reason, make it go all jiggledy in... Um, on this map. I'm not really sure why. It just does. Um, I get some flickering on some other maps as well. So I think it's more a game engine thing, and I have been, there was a couple of settings that people have suggested that I try, a couple of them, um, well, one of them I'd already, uh, I went to do it, I was oh, alright, yeah, I'll try that, and I went and have a look and found out I'd already done that one, um, another one I tried, it didn't make any difference either, um, it seems to be something to do with giants and game engine limitations and stuff like that, I'm not really sure of the ins and outs of it, I'm not a programmer or a modder in any way, shape, or form. Um, I don't know anything about coding beyond opening an XML file, changing a name or a number here and there. So that, I, it's beyond me. When you start talking about Boolean values and stuff like that, um, I understand that it's something to do with coding, but I've got no clue what you're talking about. So, um... Yeah, I am 100% I am not a coder. If I'm shown how to do something, I, I, there are things that I can change. If I'm shown the basics, if I'm shown the ropes a bit, I, I do have to go and like find YouTube short tutorials and stuff to figure out how to do stuff. But once I've taken a look at that, I can go through and change things. But... I see people who come up, oh, I just wrote this little program here. All you've got to do is just put this on your computer and use the executable. Um, and then it will start allowing you to do this on your computer when you do this, this, and this. And it makes this real easy. And it all just sounds horribly complicated and makes me want to cry. So, yeah, um, I'm, defi I'm definitely not programmer material. That's this just... I think you need a, your brain to be able to operate in a special way for that, um, like logical function. And as so many of you have said, I seem logical sometimes, but then when I have to apply common sense and logic at the same time, my brain seems to start shutting down at various different angles and then stops working altogether. Um, and what I say is logical, the rest of you are scratching your heads, sort of wondering how on earth anyone anywhere on this green planet could possibly consider that to be logical and there's probably several other races on other planets as well that also would struggle to see how such a thing could be considered logical in any way but apparently it is for me and yeah maybe this suggests that i might not be logical and in fact i am just unusual i think would be a polite way of putting it and get into the comment section. Do you think that I'm logical and, and full of common sense? Or are there other words you would describe? Keep in mind that if your comments are not PG, they will be removed 
auto magically by YouTube and then I have to go through and read them and approve or deny. And if you're saying rude words about me, probably not going to approve them. If it's rude words, if it's rude, rude words, I definitely won't approve them. But there are a few words that I do occasionally let slip through depending on context. Um, but yeah, so, you know, keep it clean. You can insult me all you like if you really feel the need to. I'd prefer it to be constructive insult. Uh, yeah, con constructive insults. Constructive insults are useful. Frithgar, you are useless. Doesn't help me. How do, you know, where do I improve? Frithgar, you are useless because, and then give me a reason, because you cut that tree down and you shouldn't have cut that tree down. You should have cut the other tree down first. What were you thinking? I would fire you if I was ever your employer. That's useful. You know, I can understand that and I can then agree or disagree with your statement, but it's still constructive. Yeah, just because I may not necessarily want to hear it doesn't mean that it's not constructive. Nobody really likes to hear bad things pointed out about them, but the, the whole point of it is that you hear the bad things and then you take steps to make some improvements. And, you know kind of difficult to make those improvements if you don't hear the bad things in the first place. So I really don't mind people criticizing me. I really don't mind people pointing out the flaws. And I'm happy for you to do so if it's done in a constructive way. But just coming along and saying you're absolutely useless, this is terrible, you should delete your YouTube channel, which I actually had as a comment the other day. Um, I couldn't leave it up because it also contained a whole number of words that were not appropriate for a um, family friendly channel so the comment ended up being deleted so all of the time and effort and um, just you know keyboard wear and tear that went into typing out this delightful message was completely wasted because of the bad words that were contained therein and so the entire thing was lost forever and was never seen by human eyes ever again after I'd seen it and thought oh what a charming fellow and then deleted it if the charming fellow had not cursed and sworn in it, I would have posted it and possibly also posted a rebuttal, such as, right, that's great. Do you have anything constructive to add to that as to why you think I'm utterly terrible? This is the worst thing you've ever seen in your life and the channel should be deleted. Because I'm all I'm all ears. I'm not going to delete the channel. Um, I'm quite pleased with my channel. I like it. I know it's not breaking any records anywhere. I'm not under any illusions. I'm not going to win prizes for my content, but I'm I'm still pleased nonetheless, and I do still try to improve my content where and how I can, even if it doesn't necessarily look like that all of the time. Um, I'm up against a bit of... I do have limitations on what I can do. I can't, like, do lots and lots of editing. I think we have stayed here with Chainsaw long enough doing this because otherwise people are going to get bored, aren't they? So let's go to construction a minute and just take a look at what we've got left to do. <clears throat> right. We've got a lovely great big area all the way down here now that is opening up really nicely. I like that. We've got quite a few trees over that side that we still need to take out. Um, I've got... I think I've gone through there and taken out one or two trees and I've got a few bits over here. So we've still got a little bit. So we've probably got two more sessions of cutting down trees, I think. Five, ten minutes each. And then we'll have that all clear. And then I'm going to do this as one big field to start with. And if I decide that that is actually too big, then maybe we'll do something different. But we won't worry about that now. Um, I'm only on one time speed. I think we need to head up and... Have we done enough for today? I want to do, I do want to do a bit more up there, but I think we'll leave that until March. I think we'll come back and we'll do that in March. So uh, let's put that on like, we'll speed it up a bit for now. Uh, yeah, all right, let's go and get some sleep. I'm back in a new recording and we have had an update. So I'm just going to unload into here a minute. Um, we've got our normal animals in here. Actually, what I'm going to do before I unload that, uh, March, June, February, yeah, March. So we need a, a new round of cattle in here as well. Uh, the cheapest ones of those, they're three months old. Yes, that is correct. So we want to get 
12 new Angus in here, like that, for 4,200 euros. There we go. Okay. And we're still not ready to get any more. But what we've got now is food 3,600 left. And I'm seriously wondering if there is enough space. Well, that there's enough capacity to even last a single month in here. I, I don't think there is. I think that's... Uh, and I did, I'm pretty sure, say I was going to alter the capacity on this shed, which I haven't done, which I need to do. I should really do that. Um, but yeah, anyway, so we've got that bit. So the update that we had in the game has actually added some new tractors. At least it should have done. I haven't checked, but I would have a look when we were all here together. So we're going to here. And Veltra. Okay, I think that the A series was in the game already. And we've got the N series is new. Or is it perhaps these here that are new? I know that... that I'm not sure which ones are new. Put it that way. I think the N series... I know that the, Val, the, the Valmet 6400 was already in. This is a mod that was in here already. Um, I need to worry about that. Uh, so there's another mod there. Um, so, oh, that's uh, that's a mod, 6400 there. Um, it was the 8750 that was already in the game. That's the one that we already had, and we used that one in the series already. Uh, so there's the A series. We've got the G series. We've got the N series. We've got the T series, and we've got the Q series. I'm pretty sure the T and the Q are new. Not sure about the A. I think it's G, N, T, Q are the new ones that have been added in. I think maybe the A series was already in here. But I'm not entirely sure about that. But anyway, we have got new Valtras in here. We can go... Ooh, look at that color. Oh, that's so good. Look at that color. Look at the shine. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, I love the... Right, so we got that special on there. So if we got that with some of the others, let's just plain old blue. But I mean, you've got to love Valtry because you can have any color you want. That's, that's the great thing about Valtry's. Is that they do literally come in any color you want. Uh, any of these others got special colors? I want special colors. No. There is only one with a special color. With the T-Series, that was the cow edition previously, wasn't it? Got a blue-gray right there. So you, had, you, you did previously have the cow edition on those, but look at this. Oh, so shiny. It's so shiny and pretty. Oh. Right, well, it's only a small tractor, so we're not going to worry about that right now. We are not going to worry ourselves about it. So, yeah, anyway, we, we, we've had some vouchers added in. Um, I don't... Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.